वेलकम टू आवर ऑनलाइन केमिस्ट्री क्लास आवर टॉपिक इज थर्मोडाइनमिक्स लेट अस डिस्कस द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट एंड इट इज नेचर ऑफ हीट एंड वर्क सो फर्स्ट इज वी डिस्कस द नेचर ऑफ वर्क व्हाट इज द सिंबल ऑफ वर्क इट इज कैपिटल डब्ल्यू हाउ विल यू डिफाइन द वर्क इट कैन बी डिफाइंड एज द एनर्जी बाय व्हिच बॉडी इज डिस्प्लेस थ्रो अ डिस्टेंस डी विद अ एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फोर्स f so in short work is the product of force into displacement so w is equal to f into d <coughs> so in thermodynamics the type of work involved in a pressure volume type of work or it is also known as pv work that is work is done when system our system is a gas expand or contract against an external atmospheric force or external atmospheric pressure so so that how will you define the pressure pressure is defined as force per unit area so if d is the distance covered by that piston where a is the area of cross section of that cylinder then i will define the area length into breadth so we measure here distance as a its length as well as breadth so a is equal to d square distance square and how will you measure the volume length into breadth into height so d cube then your work done is of pv type so pv means w is equal to force per unit area that is pressure into its volume so area is d square volume is d cube so what is pv pv is equal to f divided by d square which is the area into d cube which is the volume so if we simplify this pv is equal to f into d and that is the work now let us consider that this pv work with chemical reaction in a cylinder having a weightless frictionless movable piston attached with a certain mass on its outer surface then let us consider a reaction chemical reaction that is a decomposition of h2o2 that is hydrogen peroxide so how do you write the reaction two moles of h2o2 in liquid state gives two moles of water in liquid state plus one mole of o2 in gaseous state so let us consider this a figure in that figure your h2o2 is place okay in a cylinder having weightless and frictionless pistons on that piston some weight is place okay so when it undergo decomposition it gets converted to water and oxygen so after reaction your all is to to get decomposed into oxygen and water so here we consider only oxygen because it is in gas state so the gas produced in this decomposition of h2o2 pushes the piston in upward direction so that the mass in the surrounding is raised which is observed in the figure b so in lifting the mass the system loses certain amount of energy to that surrounding or it perform the work on the surrounding with no if we suppose that with no heat being transferred a loss of energy by that system is equal to the work done by that system on the surrounding and here expansion is done so this type of work is pv expansion type of work and work is done 
by that system on the surrounding this is first type okay now let us consider another example reaction between ammonia gas NH3 and hydrochloric gas HCl so what is the reaction NH3 gas plus HCl gas gives NH4Cl gas as reaction progresses the gas are consumed resulting in a decrease of its volume so when these two gases react themselves it produces a solid ammonium chloride NH4Cl so the volume of your product goes on decreasing and the pistons move in downward direction so in this process the surrounding loses energy to the system and perform work on that system so if no heat transfer occurs work done by that surrounding on the system is equal to the gain in energy by that system so heat or energy is absorbed by that system and it is undergo compression so this type of work is PV type but in compression type so here work refers to as there is the exchange of energy with its surrounding ok now next is nature of heat it is denoted by Q so like heat is one of the form of energy by which the system exchanges energy with its surrounding so when the system and its surrounding are at different temperature then there is a heat absorbed or it is given out but if it is same heat of system and the surrounding are same then there is no exchange in between them so then we can say that q is equal to 0 and then the process is adiabatic now next part is the sign convention of w and q so here there are some sign convention if energy is transferred from surrounding to system that means if energy is entering in the system from the surrounding then that system absorb that much amount of energy so it has a positive value while when system loses certain amount of energy or it given out the energy then energy is lost by that system so it is shown with negative sign so plus q means heat is absorbed by that system from the surrounding M minus q means heat is released by that system to the surrounding then plus w means work is done on the system by the surrounding and minus w means work is done by the system on the surround so sign conventions are very very important so if you understood so all this core sign convention so for remembering remember only one type of sign and opposite is the for other so remember minus w is nothing but work is done by that system and minus q means heat is released by that system so if you remember these two remaining two you can write by opposing them and you have to remember that work and heat are the path functions now next is the expression for pv type of work so remember that many times question may be asked write the expression for pressure volume type of work or PV type of work so for that purpose you have to consider a certain amount of gas at constant pressure P is placed in a cylinder having a weightless and frictionless piston and it is rigid in nature having area of cross section is A which is given in your diagram so diagram is important while writing the expression so you have to draw the diagram 
correctly and write down the correct labels so what is the pressure of the gas it is p and what is the external pressure applied on your piston it is pext external ext means external so initial volume of that gas is v1 okay and when there is a change in volume then final volume becomes v2 okay so let the volume of gas be v1 at temperature t so let us consider the expansion of that gas the force exerted by that gas is equal to the area of that piston multiplied by the pressure with which gas pushes that pistons pushes that pistons against the pistons and this pressure is equal in magnitude and opposite in the sign to the external atmospheric pressure which opposes the movement of that piston and therefore the value of that pressure is with negative negative sign is indicate that it is against so what is the force force is nothing but what is the pressure pressure is force per unit area so force is equal to pressure into area of the cross section what is the pressure pressure is the against external pressure p e x t so that's why it is against that's why with negative sign so where p e x t is the external atmospheric pressure so if the piston moves out a distance d so let us see the diagram initial volume is v1 when piston move in upward direction against this external pressure and when it becomes v2 that pistons cover a distance of this d okay then the amount of work is equal to the force multiplied by that distance so w is equal to f into d so if you substituting from equation 4.1 previous equation w is equal to what is force force is p x t into a substituting that value and negative sign indicate that it is against so minus so remember that always you have to put a minus sign don't forget to write this so minus p e x t into a into d then all are familiar with this pressure into a this product and that product is nothing but the volume changes so which can denote by change is always denoted with delta sign so delta v so here we write delta v is equal to a into d if we substitute this value in above 4.3 equation then what we write w is equal to minus p e x t into delta v so what is delta v is the change final minus initial final volume is v2 initial volume is v1 so we can write minus p e x into v2 minus v1 so when gas expand work is done by that system on the surrounding and here final volume v2 is greater than initial volume v1 so this difference v2 minus v1 that is delta v is positive so if it is positive and it is multiplied with negative sign so overall work is negative so during the expansion work is always negative while if gas get compressed so if it get compressed and if you move the piston in downward direction then your final volume v2 is less than this v1 final volume v2 is less than v2 is less than v1 then so 
this case is wrongly printed so make it correct final volume v2 is less than v1 then could you write here could you write 2 and here 1 v2 is less than v1 remember the and make the correction in your book also condition is v2 is less than v1 so if we v2 is less than v1 the subtraction v2 minus v1 is positive okay this uh, minus minus become plus and sorry uh, v2 minus v1 becomes negative value negative negative become plus minus minus become plus so your minus p x t delta p becomes positive so if there is a compression type then work is always positive okay so what is the hint during expansion of a gas work is done by that system on the surrounding and it is with negative sign and exactly opposite for compression in compression case work is done on the system by the surrounding so for remember person you remember any one out of these two and opposite for the other because these two processes are exactly opposite we have to consider the free expansion type of work uh, this is one of the case for work done it may be asked when work done is zero so condition is free expansion so when we obtain such a condition so when expansion takes place against zero opposing force so when we place a zero opposing force it can be possible only in vacuum so work done by that system during such an expansion in above equation is if external pressure is zero so if minus p e x t is zero that means no opposing force then if we substitute that minus p, uh, p x t is equal to zero then w becomes zero into delta v zero so when there is no opposing force that means in vacuum only the work done is zero okay then unit of energy and work so all are familiar with the joule joule is the si unit of energy and how will you write the joule one kilogram meter square per second square or it is also written as 1 pascal meter cube okay pascal is the unit of pressure or it is also known as newton per meter square newton per meter square or 1 pascal is equal to 1 kg per meter per second square okay now what is the our work done w is equal to minus p ext into delta v if pressure is expressed in bar bar is the another unit for pressure and volume in dm cube then work done has the unit of bar dm cube okay so one bar is equal to 10 raised to 5 pascal one bar is equal to 10 raised to 5 pascal or 10 raised to 5 kg meter per meter inverse per meter in, uh, per meter per second square or meter inverse second raised to minus 2 
वन डी एम क्यू बार सो मल्टीप्लाई दब बाय सिंपल डी एम क्यू इंटू टेन डी टू फाइव के जी पर मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई दीस वन डी एम मीन्स वन डी सी मीटर मीन्स टेन डी टू माइनस वन मीटर एंड वन डी एम क्यूब इज इक्वल टू टेन डी टू माइनस थ्री मीटर क्यूब सो इफ यू सब टू चेंज द डी एम टू मीटर क्यूब मल्टीप्लाय बाय टेन डी टू माइनस थ्री इंटू टेन डी टू फाइव के जी पर मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर सो इफ यू सिंप्लीफाई माइनस थ्री प्लस फाइव मीन्स प्लस टू दैट मीन्स हंड्रेड के जी मीटर स्क्वेर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट द जूल ओके देन मिस्टर ऑफ बार वी यूज द ए टी एम एज ए यूनिट फॉर प्रेशर सो वॉट इज द ए टी एम ए टी एम इज नथिंग बट वन जीरो वन थ्री टू फाइव किलोग्राम पर मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर सो हियर योर आंसर इज नियर अबाउट वन जीरो वन लीटर एटमोस्फियर ओके सो यू मस्ट फैमिल विद द डिफरेंट यूनिट ऑफ प्रेशर एंड इफ यू यूज द इफ यू मेजर द प्रेशर इन एटमोस्फियर देन यूर वर्क डन इज इन लीटर एटमोस्फियर इफ यू मेजर द प्रेशर इन बार देन Your answer is hundred kg meter square per second square. Okay, that means hundred joule. So these are the different units. So check the solid numericals. Then another unit. Is calorie. What is calorie? The amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree centigrade. So we supply certain amount of heat to your one gram water, and if we increase the temperature of that one gram water by one degree centigrade, and how much amount of heat is required to raise this temperature of one gram of water? That amount of heat is nothing but one calorie, and one another conver uh, conversion is there. One calorie is equal to four point one eight four joule. Okay, one calorie is equal to four point one eight four joule. Then there is one more term, specific heat of water, and it is one calorie per gram degree centigrade per degree centigrade. Okay. Remember these formulas. Then next is the concept of maximum work. In numerical, we'll discuss later on. Separate. Uh, I'll make one separate video based on the numerical. So let us consider the next important part. And many time question may be asked. Write the expression for maximum work. Okay. So first we understood what is the concept of maximum work. So in the equation W max is equal to minus P E X T into delta V. That is equation 4.5. The amount of work performed by that system is governed by the opposing force. Opposing force is external pressure. Larger the opposing force, more is the work done by that system to overcome that opposing force. So if opposing force is zero, there is no work done. Okay. So if we increase the opposing force. Work done also increase by that system. When the opposing force reaches to its maximum value, the system perform the maximum work. Okay, so with an opposing force being greatest, more effort will be needed to overcome that. Okay, thus the opposing force. That is the P external becomes greater than the driving force. Then process get reverse and it is called as reversible process. Okay. Since the opposing force cannot be greater than driving force, it should be maximum, but it cannot be greater. So what is the difference between them? It is very very small, and that difference between opposing force and driving force is called as infinitesimal 
difference but always remember that your driving force should be infinite similarly greater than the opposing force so if the pressure p of that gas differ from your external pressure p x t by a quantity delta p then how will you write p minus p e x t is equal to delta p so p is the pressure of the gas p e x t is the external pressure and your driving force that is pressure of the gas it's infinite symbol greater than external pressure so this delta p is very very small and how you write the uh, if you write the p x t to right hand side and delta p to left hand side so you can represent external pressure is equal to p minus delta p so what is your 4.5 equation w is equal to minus p x t into delta v so if we substitute the p x t as minus p uh, p minus delta p and your volume delta v as it is so your equation becomes minus p minus delta p into delta v so here the work would be maximum when delta p is very very small that means if the change in driving force that is pressure of the gas and opposing force that means external pressure that change is very very small that change is called as infinitesimal small then the work is maximum if this is very very small then minus p delta p is nearly equal to p so we write the maximum work so this means that opposing force p x t must be infinite symbol smaller means very very less difference than the driving force p for the work to be maximum and this can be possible only when the reaction is reversible so we can obtain the maximum work only when the change should be carried out is in reversible manner or thermodynamically reverse so this is the condition for reversible work oh sorry reverse uh, maximum work condition should be thermodynamically reverse now in your exam question is write the expression for maximum work so one important thing is that your reaction should be reversible now so you have to start when question is write the expression for maximum work you have to start from this 4.5.1 okay and you have to derive the expression for w max many time question will be asked for 3 mass so consider n moles of an ideal gas enclosed in a cylinder fitted with frictionless movable rigid piston so there's when gas is placed that gas is ideal gas in a cylinder having weightless and frictionless rigid pistons so let us suppose that the volume of that gas is v1 at initial stage and when there is change is carried out isothermally and reversibly so just now we discuss about the reversible reaction what is isothermal if we keep the temperature remains constant then that process is isothermal so main time question may be asked write the expression for work done isothermally and reversibly so you have to write same expression so here you have to keep the temperature constant then you follow the isothermal process and if your driving force is infinite similarly greater than the opposing force then you follow the reversible process then here we consider there is a expansion takes place and this type of expansion can takes place in number of steps because in case of reversible process we carried out that process in number of steps so what is the external pressure it is p x t and what is the pressure of the gas that is p okay so during each step the external pressure p x t is made 
infinite similarly smaller than the that pressure p of the gas so for that purpose we have to remove some weight on that which is kept on that pistons so by removing the some mass from that piston your extra pressure decreases with very very less amount so if we decrease the external pressure then your piston moves in upward direction and if it moves in upward direction your gas get expand slowly and your pressure p goes on decreasing with very very small amount and the expansion continues until when there is expansion your pressure of the gas which is equal to external pressure so when both the values pressure of the gas p and external pressure pxt becomes equal then then movement of pistons get stopped so beyond this there is no expansion and system attain the mechanical equilibrium with the surrounding that means p is the pressure of the gas that is pressure of the system and axt pressure of the surrounding becomes equal then we have to say there is a equilibrium in between them and such a type of equilibrium is called as mechanical equilibrium so when there is a expansion then volume of your gas increase from its initial value v1 by a volume very very small change in the volume dv1 okay or you can write dv1 and that amount is very very small that amount is called as infinite simul small quantity dv in each single step and the process is then repeated again we have to remove some weight on that piston then the piston moves in upward direction so as to equalize the pressure of the gas with external pressure and again equilibrium will be attain and again piston moves in upward direction with small change in its volume again the change is volume is dv so in this way you have to carry out your process in step wise manner and in every step there is a increase in volume of your gas by dv amount okay so now and in this way if you carry out number of steps you have achieved the final change in its volume and what is the final volume it is v2 then when the volume of the gas increase by an infinite simul amount dv in single step a small quantity of work is done so what is w w is equal to minus pxt into delta v so here small work is denoted by dw so small volume change is denoted by dv that is infinite simul change in volume infinite simul change in work so dw is equal to minus pxt into dv so the expansion is reversible expansion is reversible and pressure is pressure p is greater by very small amount dp then its external pressure so what is the change p minus pxt is equal to dp so what is pxt pxt is nothing but p minus dp p minus dp so substituting this p external value to above equation 4.6 then what you write dw is equal to minus p minus dp into dv so if you multiply dv to the quantity is placed in the bracket so what is the quantity with negative sign also minus p dv minus minus plus dp dv so as your dp and dv are very very small quantity so let us suppose that quantity is very very small in fraction then product of the such small quantities again very very small 
and we can neglect them so let us suppose your quantity very small quantity 0.001 and if you multiply it by 0.001 then that product is again becomes very very small so you can neglect them so what is dw dw is equal to minus p into dv but this type of work is obtained only when there is a change in single step and if you have to calculate all these changes in number of stage when your volume changes from v1 to v2 then the total wor work done is obtained by integration of above equation number 4.8 so when you have to calculate the overall change with calculating the smaller change then we have to integrate that small change from initial value to final value so integration of dw from within the limit initial to final stage for stage to second stage is equal to initial volume is v1 and it changes to final volume v2 so for this integration you have to write a limit from v1 to v2 p dv as your pressure is same external pressure you keep that outside so this overall change during each single step that is integration of dw from initial stage to final stage we can write this change as the maximum work so w max is equal to minus integration from v1 to v2 p dv then all are familiar with the ideal gas equation pb is equal to nrt so how do you write the p p is equal to nrt divided by v substituting this value of pressure in equation 4.9 what do you write minus integration from v1 to v2 nrt upon v into dv so if you observe these terms involved in ideal gas equation n is number of moles r is universal gas constant and t is the absolute temperature all these terms are constant because here we already mentioned when we start the expression here temperature remains constant why temperature remains constant because your process is isothermal so t is constant always we start with fixed number of moles of that gas so n is constant r is always constant that is universal gas constant so all these three terms are constant so you keep that constant terms outside the integration so what is your term minus nrt integration from v1 to v2 dv by v okay then what is the uh, integration of 1 upon x dx it is log to the base e x so that log to the base e can also be written as ln so ln v and you have to write down the limit v1 to v2 initial to final so minus nrt ln v1 to v2 if you substitute that limit here then minus nrt ln v2 minus ln v so all of family familiar with the rule of logarithm log m minus log n is equal to log m divided by n so ln v2 minus ln v1 is equal to ln v2 upon v1 so what is your expression minus nrt ln v2 upon v1 if you change the base of log from e to log 10 then you have to multiply by 2.303 so w max become minus 2.303 nrt log v2 upon v1 so this is your final expression for w max in terms of change in volume from 
initial v1 to final v2 then all are familiar with the boyle's law what is boyle's law at constant temperature pressure is inversely proportional to its volume or same can be written if pressure changes from p1 to p2 volume v1 to v2 and at constant temperature pv is equal to constant or p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 or you can simplify v2 upon v1 is equal to p1 upon p2 v2 upon v1 is equal to p1 upon p2 if we substitute this in above equation w max is equal to minus 2.303 nrt log p1 upon p2 log p1 upon p2 so remember this two formulas w max is equal to minus 2.303 nrt log v2 upon v1 and my w max is equal to minus 2.303 nrt log p1 upon p2 so if we observe the equation in terms of volume it is v2 upon v1 but in case of pressure it is p1 upon p2 so negative sign indicates that it is expansion okay thank you